What up gamers, welcome to my channel. This is Great Fox, and I'm here to make my first video in English for a foreign audience. I've been on YouTube for about 10 years, but just for the Brazilian audience, I quit. I'm done with it. Unfortunately, people down here, they do not give me the due value. So I decided to take a next step and I deleted my old channel and I made this new one. My old nickname was Critical Mind, but I quit it. Now it's Great Fox from now on. And I would like to talk about the old games, talk about the differences between Brazil and the other countries and talking about some games which they are beloved to hear Brazil and hated all over the world. I'm here to vlog for you, to tell stories for you. I'm here to make my short films and I think speaking English will be the best way. I've been planning this for the last couple of years. I got about 75,000 subscribers and then they hacked my channel. I restarted. I got 2,500. Put that in mind. The numbers for me are not important. What is important is the love, is the passion for this beautiful hobby, the games. Please subscribe to my channel if you feel comfortable to and I'm here to show you my game room. Welcome to my game room tour 2020. Before I go into some details about my gaming room down here, first of all, Brazil's reality is pretty tough. It's pretty difficult for us to build a game room like this. It took me like 10 to 11 years. I started from scratch. I didn't have anything. I just had in my room a table, a small TV, and an Xbox 360. Now, take a look what I got. I have so many feelings and so many stuff to show from this game room with ya and I hope from the bottom of my heart that you guys like it because we are going to have different stuff in the channel and I'm quite sure you guys are gonna help me out at the same time that I'm gonna help you out with some nostalgia bringing back some old feelings the 80s and the 90s feelings that's what I used to do in my channel down here in Brazil as you guys can see this passion overcome every single obstacle that was thrown in my life and I put in my skin I got a bunch of video game tattoos but I'm gonna get into more more details if you guys want in the future check my gaming room real quick this is a kind of introduction for you guys about my channel about who I am by the way I didn't introduce myself properly my name is Chris I've been living here in Brazil I was born in Brazil I'm 38 years old and I have so many things to share I have so many stories to tell I hope you guys like from the bottom of my heart so here you go I have two arcades cabinets down here this first arcade actually it is a Mortal Kombat arcade I made a design. There's an HDMI cable which goes to my computer so I can play recent games in this arcade. The next one is a replica from the new G1. This one, there's a computer inside of it with old games and also there's a bunch of stuff down here but there is even a place for you to put the quarters to the machine to work. I'm not able to play right now in that arcade because there's a bunch of stuff here like the lights and stuff and I had this creativity. I used every single space from this game room with my imagination to try to feel what things from my past so let me show you another thing here's a kind of mess right now it's my DVD and blu-ray collection I have a bunch of blu-rays and DVDs I'm crazy about movies as well so there's a couple of steps down here I'm not getting into details here's a Final Fantasy 8 9 and Colonel Cross and uh, I still got the HVS I still get this version from the Lion King I'm a big fan of uh, Lion King actually I used to speed around Lion King in the past I had more than six thousand attempts if you go to speedrun.com I'm still the third best in the world and I beat the game probably 14 minutes 13 minutes I'm not so sure about it if you guys want to know about any specific item just let me know in the comments down below all right so a bunch of PSP game PS3 games and uh, I love boxes man just like the angry video game nerd I love boxes so there are boxes all over the room it's a very cozy and comfortable couch that I put down here so there's a 55 inch TV which I play in my new consoles I got here PS4 Nintendo Switch I got my PS2, I got my PS3, I got a little bit of everything like SNES, PS2, Sega Genesis, PS1, SNES, I got this 29 inch TV LG which I like so much. These magazines are from Brazil and uh, they are actually all about games. I got a bunch of them but I have to store them somewhere else because I got no space down here. Everything was designed specifically for this room. Put every single cartridge that I have, actually I still have some more but I couldn't put them all. here. 
are some SNES games, some Nintendo 64 games, and some Sega Genesis games. Here are my caps, my Blu-ray collection, and uh, we have some portables down there. Some pillows spread all over the couch. I love pillows. So I got a bunch of them. I'm not gonna be able to show them all with the details, but like I said earlier, if you guys got some, you know, questions about it, just leave me the comments. I get the box and the original wood, the original puzzle idea from the 90s, which the box is right there. Can you guys see it? I hope so. In the ceiling, I put some stars and I got this Mario stuff. You guys are not able to see it. Let me try to turn off the lights, but the, the room gonna get a little dim, but you can see it's a Mario stuff. You can see some Mario drawings on the ceiling. You can see a couple of stars. They actually illuminate at night. And there's a bunch of old consoles. I got about 110, 120 old consoles in my collection. Here's my personal computer. This is a 34 inches monitor. This is a 40 inches monitor. I used to make some lives here in Brazil, but all my lives is gonna be for foreigners from now on. We're gonna play some retro games. I play a lot Tetris 99 for Nintendo Switch. I speed around a couple of games as well. As long as you guys keep coming to my channel, you understand a little bit more about the things that I do. My format, you're not able to identify and to see the format yet because this is the first video I'm uploading for the YouTube. So please, one more time, subscribe to it. I promise you guys, you won't have any regrets about it. What else can I show you? This is my PlayStation VR. I got another computer down there. I got this tiny arcades. They are really cool. And I got some figurines all over the place. I got a couple of more caps, you know, like Star Fox 1, Zelda, Mortal Kombat, and so on and on and on. Just to let you guys know, I have interviewed so many incredible actors from the game industry like the Donkey Kong composer David Wise. I will upload this interview for you guys. Uh, Daniel Pessina, which makes some Mortal Kombat characters like Johnny K. Asia, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and so on and on and on. Barry Leach, the Top Gear composer. Doc Mac, which owns the biggest arcade in the world. So I'm gonna upload all these interviews for you guys. So my desk is a mess right now. I got my headsets completely messed up. I gotta buy a new one. This is an 8-Bito gamepad controller. It is really, really cool. It's completely wireless and can connect straight to my Nintendo Switch and also to my PC. I love coffee. So here's my espresso. I make a very nice coffee. So here I got a couple. Of, so here I got a couple of glasses. A Lion King one, the Toy Story four, and we got some bottles in the back, like the Mario. And uh, this is for candies, okay? So I got some special joysticks for Nintendo Switch here. Uh, we got a bunch of other stuff down there. Just let me know if you guys like it, because I would detail every single thing that I got here in my gaming room. I was so into drones. I got here my Spark. I got here my Visu X12. I recently lost three drones. I lost two Mavic Minis and I lost a Phantom 3. They all crashed. I lost a bunch of money so I stopped with it. I tried not to crash this one. Why did I buy drones? I would like to have some specific shots in my short films from different angles so I still hope to do it. So here it is my gaming room. If you got any questions right there just let me know. We got a couple of more arcade joysticks right there. You got the lightsaber down here. I don't know if it still works. Yeah, it does. The Iron Man right there and uh, well, there's still a bunch of stuff I'd like to show you. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. I promise you guys are gonna bring a very neat content for everyone. So the channel will be focusing on the nostalgia but at the same time the new games. Like I said, I've been doing this for 10 years but in Portuguese I made more than a thousand videos but I decided to change because the people here in Brazil they do not give me the proper and the due value I think my content deserves. So take care take it easy and I catch you guys later see ya